So, your name is Valkyrie. Valkyrie, yes. And um, you are a channel or a light worker or. I've been called many things. I am a channel. I do healings. I do guided meditations. I channel the Pleiadian Council. Um, the Ple the Pleiadian. Uh, that's um, a race of. That's our our, our it's fathers. More advanced civilization. Yes, they seeded okay. the planet All right. in Lumeria. They're here to help in our human evolution. They were where we are long ago. They have come back to give their service to help us with our process. So Lumeria was a, a land like Atlantis, but in the Pacific, near where Honolulu is, or where Hawaii is. Yes, that, that's what the, the legends say, is Hawaii is the remnants, the very tip top of the mountains in Lumeria. Okay, and they did crystal work, or, or light work. Yes, we worked with crystal beds, we worked with sound, we worked with light, we worked with color, all different levels of healing took place. Whereas the Atlanteans, um, they worked with genetics and other... Origin, yes, they were more into the engineering and more into the civilization and the, the trade and working with more closely with the humans. So on the Lumerian side then, you, ha you have a crystal bed that was channeled to your, s to. To your son, but intended for you. It's a uh, crystal, uh, what is a crystal again? The selenite. Selenite crystal, okay. And selenite has special properties. Yes, it clears everything. Any physical, any blocks that you have. Okay, like when you have a trauma, like you have a car accident, or you, you fall and you break your leg, or you just, there's a trauma and there's an emotion that goes with it. So they say, I broke my arm. Whatever happened during that time, when I broke it, you were scared, you were, you might have been in trouble, something, mm -hmm. something stuck. So that's why people have issues with those areas. Now the selenite will go in and will clear that energy block out so you no longer have those reoccurring issues as long as you're willing to let it go. So it purifies you? In a sense, yes. And it works on the physical body and all of your etheric bodies. So you you have a bed then that you built, yes. made of this crystal, yes. and people lie in this bed. Yes, and I do a guided journey that was channeled to me from the council. And each level of this journey is is a healing process. <laughs> And each, with each part of it, you go in deeper and deeper and deeper. And the, the more relaxed state I can get you into, the more you open up and you release. And the stones can do their work in clearing all of these energy blocks. So what happens to someone after these energy blocks are cleared? It depends. Um, most of the time they're speechless because of the experience because they've released so much and they're, they're not understanding on what levels they have released. Some come off laughing. I've had people come off of their crying. Most of the time it's just a sense of elation. Uh, a lot of people are dizzy coming off of it too because mm -hmm. it's, it's a... Um, what they're used to, what you're used to, has been cleared, so now you're kind of, kind of sort of off balance. It's like so gravity is shifted. Yes, yes, like, yes, like you've just come back, yes. Um, but, but that's the immediate effect. That's the what about the long-term effect? I the mean, long -term how, effect? how do they, do they behave differently? Some people do behave differently. Uh, they're, they have released so many, like, anger or anxieties or, um, stresses it, it actually changes how they they communicate with other people how they um, how they feel about themselves uh, they're less angry 
So no more attachments, no more confusion, no more right. uh, no more dark emotions. All that has been cleared away. Yes. As long as they go in with the intention of releasing, we can get them there. Between me and the bed and the council, they can be cleared. And the clarity it seems like a they see the vision of how their life should be, or the, the path that they're on. And they then get the pure intention to follow that path. Yes. So they get out of their own way. Get out of their own way. Yes. Very good. They do. But then, how did you come to be in possession of this bed? I had it designed. Well, my son actually had it, uh, the stones commissioned. And then it was just a, a series of events that ended with the, the iron bed being constructed so that I could move it by myself. It's about 500 pounds of selenite, and the iron is, we figure, about 200 pounds. So it's constructed in pieces so that I can, I can actually physically move it, put it together, and then dismantle it and take it to the next place. And you then do workshops where people lie in this bed? Yes, I hold the event. I have places that host the events, two to three days usually. Uh, take appointments. We can do a 15 minute, 30 minute, or an hour. The hour is very intense. Um, then you will clear a lot in the hour. However, the 15 minute is it's good for a lot of people. They come in, they experience it, they clear some. We do the affirmations. Um, and then generally they come back for a much lengthier visit. It seems like people have to pace themselves because there's so many attachments. Depends on what level that you're on and what you're ready to release. Some people can only handle that little bit because they've been holding on to it for so long. Mm -hmm. It's like an addiction. You have to, uh, what is it called, um, wean yourself. Yeah. So in a sense, you're weaning yourself off of your your attachments, your things that you've come to know is to be you. When in, in all reality, it's not you. It's what you have created to protect yourself or to, to keep people away or to keep from getting hurt anymore. So these barriers are now released. And you no, you no longer need them. As, as they, the, the council says, they are no longer necessary. So you become the more enhanced version of who you were meant you to be. You. The full Fairer. version of you, yes. yes. The true you. The true we you. We help you find your truth. Your truth. Not mm -hmm. my truth. Your truth. Because everybody's truth mm -hmm. is different. And when someone finds their own truth, their life changes. Their life changes. Because suddenly they can express their truth and... Have they relations based truth. on that truth. Yes, they hear the truth, which is most people will only hear what they want to hear. So now they're hearing the truth and they're speaking their truth. And that can transform marriages, business relationships, friendships, yes, entire careers. Entire careers. Can enhance it. And even even if things are even if marriages fail or businesses fail, with that, there's always something new. There's always something bigger, something greater, mm -hmm. because it is a bigger, better you. Mm -hmm. So therefore, whatever you're going to receive is that much more. So you're reaching for something more. The true, the truth, where you're supposed to be, on your true path. So, what is your true path? I'm a healer, I'm a counselor, I'm, I'm here to help and open up as many people as I can, to enhance as many lives as I can. Um, and you have this intense sensitivity because of that. Yes, I do. Very sensitive to energies, um, even in this building. There's their, I, I can sense people and their anxieties and their fears. And I actually have to stay away from places like Disneyland because hmm. it's just it's overwhelming. Because I am an empath also. So 
you absorb so much. Yes, I do. And then you have to somehow channel it and transform it into something positive. Yes. I usually use the crystals. I will get on the bed and I will do my own healings and clearings mm -hmm. because I will have attachments. Um, other people's ailments will show up in me because I do come from medicine also. Mm -hmm. My Native American side, I have medicine blood. We take, we can take on somebody else's illnesses, their mm -hmm. pain, and you have to learn from a very early age to let it go, send it into Mother Earth, yeah. send it to the universe, send it somewhere so that it can be transformed. Never hold on to it. So this Lumerian bed is also for you? Yes. As I'm helping somebody heal, I'm being gifted with all of the positive, all of the love, all of the just the intense, beautiful energy that it produces. Mm -hmm. so I'm gifted every time. Every time I help somebody come into their own, it it helps me become more who I am. I grow and I heal myself. Because people ask me, this last year when I was going through all of the, the changes and, and all the turmoil, how can you how can you help somebody else when, when you're in such a state of just chaos? Because when I help somebody, I'm I'm healed also. So each time, it, it was it's just a it's a, a cycle. So it's a it's a reciprocity. Yes, I can say that. They they may not they may not even intend it. No, they do not. But it's a side effect that it's a side affects effect. you. Yes. Because I'm tapping into that that energy, that healing. So as I'm helping somebody else, it comes back to me. It's beautiful. So it's almost like there are healing shockwaves that emanate from you and the person you heal. And bounce off. And then it affects everyone else around you as well. I can walk in a room and affect everybody. I've been, to, um, I've been told that when I'm around, it's a constant spiritual, you know, everybody and everybody's, without me doing anything, start working on their inner, their inner demon, so to speak, their, yeah. their, whatever their flaws are, whatever their doubts are, yeah. they start surfacing without me even doing anything. And then when I leave, everybody kind of settles back down. And then I come back in, and it kind of gets them, and each time they heal. Well, that's why the, the Lumerian bed is the perfect tool for you, because it's it's essentially your essence, but magnified, magnified. a thousand times, a yes. million times. I work very well, very well with it. It's like we're, we're, we're connected on levels that I couldn't, I couldn't explain. They have their own life force, they have their own energy. They even have to be set in a certain way. They work best when they're aligned in a certain order, mm -hmm. in a certain way they're turned. And then they just sing beautifully. I also work with the crystal bowl. I've added the sound also. It starts with the chakra, the, the, the crown, and clears. And the sound that comes from the crystal bowl when I'm with crystal bed it's it's phenomenal it's it's different from when I first did it in the in the shop that I purchased it from when I brought it to the crystal bed and worked with it for the first time it, it was amazing the sound that was coming from it it's like they just they're symbiotic to each other so there's a harmonization that occurs so now the healings that's why we call it multi-dimensional healing because we're healing not only on the physical plane, the auric plane, but we're going out into the, the etheric planes and just healing everything, clearing. So I assume you use some sort of ambient music when someone's on the bed. I have, yes. Uh, my, my partner composes uh, with his guitar, uh -huh. Kevin. Um, and there's just something about when he plays the guitar with the crystal bed, People are just 
they're like, that was just amazing. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he cannot travel with me, so I'm I'm not you know allowed to have that with me all the time. But the, the singing bowl takes the place of a lot of that. Well, have you uh, thought of using sound healing CDs or he any is, kind he of... He is going to compose some for me and he's re record them so that when I do travel that, that I have that with me. Okay. With the time and the working, and, you know, he works a, a job and, and it's just, we're trying to work out all the details. Yeah. But we will get that. So this is essentially a, a quote-unquote new age workshop or show and you go to places and invite people to lay in this bed and do this cleansing of the community yes. in the process. And what's really nice is when one person is like in a house is um, like say the mom comes in and she she gets cleared. Her entire family um, benefits from it because when she's she's healed and she's happy than everybody else is. It would be the same way if dad came in. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So essentially, one person will touch many other people's lives in a, in a very positive way. And hopefully there's a uh, generational effect there too because their kids and their grandkids will also be healed Benefit. by this. Benefit. It touches many, many people. What about your own family? Has... I mean, I know this Lumerian bed was originally intended for your son, but has he also benefited from... Yes, he has. He's very connected to it. Um, when I was in California last, he he got to see it again for the first time in probably a year. And it was, the connection was, was just almost as strong as it was the very first... When he first received the first stone, it was like... Um, it was more than a kid at Christmas time. He was just so <laughs> enchanted with this stone. And he, um... Well, let's see, your stone is right it's over right here, right? It's right there in my purse. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. This, is, this is a small piece of the selenite that the, the crystal bed is, is, is made of. It's very clear, very high quality. Um, selenite. You can almost read through it. You're right. It, is, it has obvious edges, obvious lines. Mm -hmm. The side is layered. You can huh. see the layers of when huh. it was formed. But yet it's clear. Huh. And so the bed is just bigger. Bigger, yeah. much bigger piece of this. Almost 500 pounds of this. This is only maybe six ounces. Wow. It's very, very... The energy that comes from it is... It's, it's amazing. I have people tell me all the time, well, it's really nice to, to watch the... Um, the initial, when somebody hasn't seen it, and they go up to it, and they're just like, they're almost wanting to fall into the stones, and they they reach up under the acrylic and they and they touch them and they just, it's really been an amazing journey so far, and I'm there's so much more ahead, so many more people to see. Well, hopefully you'll make it over to the East Coast I'm at some to point. The East Coast, yes. Because I would love to try the bed out, yes. and uh, this may be my wife as well. And yes. this is something that I think could benefit um, you know, not just the spiritual community on the West Coast, but the, the the very pressurized professional people on the East Coast. Oh yes, definitely. I'm planning on going to Ireland and Australia too. Oh really? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Well, is it possible to make more beds, or is this always going to be one of a kind? This one is a one of a kind. I when I build my center, which I am going to have a spiritual center for healing and learning. The the first one will be here in Oregon. I'm going to have one commissioned that will stay there. This one I'll always travel with. Okay. 
and at some point I may create them to sell to other others that are healers like myself. That will be a little farther down the road, though. So this is your career. That's this is my life. Yeah. I chose this path, and I'm I'm on a pretty amazing journey right now, and I'm just getting started. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you.